Welcome to the Brownwood Bulletin's webcast for Tuesday, January 25th, 2011. I'm Candace Cooksey Fulton, staff writer and columnist for the Bulletin, and here are some of the top stories we'll have in our Tuesday paper. Brown County Commissioners voted unanimously Monday to pay $5,000 to retain former State Representative Bob Turner to look after the county's interests this legislative session in Austin. The county's $5,000 will be matched by contributions from Brownwood Area Chamber of Commerce, the City of Brownwood, and Brownwood Economic Development Corporation. The City of Early will consider incentives for the Bruner Auto Group Tuesday. Council members will go into executive session after a discussion regarding development of Bruner Auto Group according to the agenda. A 44-year-old man is being held in Brown County Jail after being arrested on an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon charge. A woman told police the man wanted her to go to a party with him, and when she refused, he held a gun on her and tried to force her to go with him. In sports, the Brownwood Lions and Lady Lions are headed to Abilene for a pair of District 5 3A basketball games Tuesday. Head coaches Heather Hortz and Charles Patillo offer insight into the matchup in Tuesday's edition. Also, the latest Texas Association of Basketball Coaches high school rankings have been released. Find out if your local team made the cut. You'll get all these stories and more in the Tuesday edition of the Brownwood Bulletin. Buy the paper at your local newsstand or find us here at brownwoodbulletin.com.